So today we'll be talking about how to work with the AMAC and um, I'll be guiding us through in doing our task, the ALX task for AMAC. Um, these are the commands to do the following. To open a file, you use this command C, Control, C, X, C, F. So this is the command. Um, you have to take note of the case, capital C and um, a dash or hyphen, the small letter X, space, capital letter C, an hyphen, and um, small letter F. So this the command to open. This is the command to open a file. Um, if you want to save a file, this is the command to save a file. To cut a file, this is the command to cut a file. To paste a file using a mark, this is the command. To search for a file using a mark, this is the command. Um, to undo using a mark, this is the command. And to quit using a mark, this is the command. So quickly, let's go to um, let's navigate to our tasks and um, solve the problem. The first problem here. It's saying we should create um, um, tag zero is create your answer directory and the question is saying you should navigate to our root directory and create a directory named um, 0x02 underscore mark so that's very easy um, to fully understand how to navigate in your in your shell you can check my previous video on shell navigation so you click on um, get a sandbox then you come to you click on the web terminal you open the web terminal and um, the terminal comes up so this is your root position to be double sure that you are in the root position you can type pwd that's print the working directory to understand all these commands working with the terminal you need to check my previous video on shell navigation so pwd you press enter and it shows you this telling you that you are in the root position just once backslash tells you are in the root position and so the question we come back to our question the question says you should navigate to the root position which we've done and create a directory name 0x02 underscore mx so you just go back to your terminal and you create a, um, you, you make the directory and to make a directory use the command mkdir that's make directory and you have 0x02 underscore emacs and you press enter so you've created that directory to look to be sure that the directory was probably properly created you list the function and the folder in the files or the directory that are in the roots folder and you see that 02 on that 0x02 underscore mark has been created successfully so once you do that you go back to your project and you click on check your code you start a new test and everything is complete so you want to see the details the details show us that the sandbox started the directory is present as we saw and this is a directory and not a file so that's all for tax number one well once you're done with tax number one you go to the second tax second tax is tax number um, opening sorry that's tax number zero rather then you go back to second tax opening opening says write a command to open a file with within the mark okay write your answer in the file root slash 0x02 so this is the um the 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 directory where your file should be inside the mark your your file opening should be inside the mark directory and we've created this directory before so we just create this file i've shown you how to do this in my previous video all you need to do is just to get a sandbox as usual click on the web terminal so you have a fresh terminal now you have to know that um the command to to open a file using a mark is this c hyphen x then space c dash f so x and f are in lowercase whilst the both c's are in um, uppercase so you go back to your um, shell and then your shell you simply the first thing you need to do is to get into your your directory let me list all the directories that are there so look at the directory we need to get into. We need to get into this 0x02 underscore mmax directory. And this is um to do that, you have to use cd, which is chain directory. So 0x02 underscore mmax. Be sure of the spelling. Once you press enter, you can see that I'm already inside 
the new directory 0x0 to emacs i'm ready inside there and inside this directory we need to create a file called opening just as the question said we need to create a file the file is opening this file opening you have to check the spelling opening in lower case and inside this you put the command to open a file within emacs so we've seen our command already to be c hyphen x space c hyphen f so all we just need to do is to use echo i've shown you this before in my previous previous video then here you put the command c I think lowercase x space capital letter C. I think lowercase f. You put it in your quotes, um, your single quotes. Then you push it into the file. What is the name of the file? Opening. Now the good thing about Echo is that Echo search search. Um, if you've not created the file opening before, it creates it and put this 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 content inside it. This command inside it. If it was created before it does the same thing just put it but once you've not created the file like we we've not created opening before so it creates it for us and does the magic so you can see if i list ls to list the 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 files or the con the files inside this directory and once i do that you can see this file opening already exists and if i want to see the content of opening i use cat cart i've explained this in my previous video on shell navigation and um, you just type opening so you want to see the content of opening and you can see cxcf is already there so once you are done with that you go back and you click on um, check your code and once you click on start a new test you'll notice that all these have been done correctly you check your details you see that this um, directory is present and it contains the correct answer which is c i think x space c i think x so you go to the next one the next one is saving to save write the command to save a file in emac now to save a file in emac you have to know from our from this place you can see that i've already shown you what it is to save a file in emac and you use c i think x c i think x x and s are in lowercase while the two c's are in uppercase so you go back to your terminal or to your to your um work and um you you click on get a sandbox that's for number two tax number two then you get a web a terminal then the first thing we need to do is to enter the directory what directory are we going into let's list all the directories we are we are going into this directory 0x02 underscore emacs so we change our directory to 0x02 underscore emac and um you click enter you are already in that directory you can see 0 x 0 2 underscore mark and now we want to just as the question told us we should we should um write the command to save a file we know the command already from here that the command is c x space c s so we just go back to our shell and we put that command we echo that command into so we use the echo and we put that command c dash x okay lowercase x rather space then uppercase c dash s and so that's how to save a file you put this thing that you use the greater than symbol to push it inside the file the file na name saving you can confirm the spelling again i'm sure it's the file said put it inside the file saving saving so we come back here and we've done that since saving was not um created before now echo we help us create it and put this inside so when we put this we can list all the files that are inside this emac we have opening we've done opening before and now we have saving saving exists already and so we can check the content of saving and see if we actually got what we wanted yes we got this inside our saving so once this is done you go back here you click on check your code and you click on start a new test and since they are correct you get this check your details and see everything in case you had an error you check your details and know what the problem is maybe this directory is not present or it doesn't correct um contain the right answer so we go to the next one the next one is to cut to cut uh to command to cut an entire line so to cut an entire line in um using emac this is the command to do that you just um use control x Control K, so it's C X C K. So to do that, you just go back to your shell 
and you go through the whole process again what do you want to do we want to cut our file we get a sandbox for cutting we open our web terminal then we navigate into this directory this directory because that's what the question has been telling us that we have to navigate put our cutting file inside this directory 0x02 so we navigate into that directory and how do we do that we change directory cd and we do the 0x02 underscore a mark and you press enter so we're in that directory already you can see that when you if you check the content of this directory you'll see that we don't have the file cut in there i want to create the file cutting but we're not just creating it we are putting the command inside it. so we have echo as we've always done echo and uh, inside echo we put the command what is the command for cutting the command is c x space c dash k so you have lower k there just one k and then you push this in into the file called cutting so once you do this you see once you list all the files in this directory emac you see cutting has been created for you using this command echo and then um, you can check the content of cutting and you see that we already have the command cxck so you just go back and you click on check your code you click on start a new test and you see everything is correct that has been done correctly if you have an error you check the details and you know where your error is so invariably to do the same thing for pasting you just check the command for pasting same thing we've been doing all the while the command for pasting is this the next question tells you to to um to do that for searching so you go to um, tax number five said for searching for searching searching write the command to search forward to search forward the command to search forward has been given already here so you just come over here and use this command to search the command for undoing has been given to so you can use this command to undo and you can use this command to quit so it's just the same process you can go through the process over and over and over again till you get your correct answer so this is for undoing i'll give you the command already for quitting i'll give you the command so i believe this um, video was useful to you kindly subscribe to this channel um, click on the bell notification to be notified when a new video is dropped share with your friends click on the like button thank you